Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the 14th edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will talk about video transitions and screen options for video mode in DJ Pro 2. Let's get started. So first, I'm going to uh, get myself to video mode by moving my mouse up to the top right and clicking here. And I'm going to turn on uh, my cue points right now. And that's going to make my screen a little bigger and you'll be able to see the uh, video transitions. And what I'm gonna do right now is just show you guys what each video transition option is like. So I'm gonna queue up, queue up my tracks right now. And the first uh, transition option is going to be the blend. And here's what it looks like, just a blend. Next is Luma. Next is the cube. Next is the swap. Next is the grid. Next is mosaic. And last is push. And that's about it for the transition options. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show is the image overlay. So this is basically adding an image and putting it over whatever you have on your screen. So to do that, we're going to click right here at the bottom for image overlay. And then I am able to add these default uh, DJ Pro and algorithm um, images over. So to do that, I can click on the image and then click whether I want it to be on just the first deck, just the second deck, or the entire main screen. So I'll, all I have to do is click. And right now it's just on the first deck. If I click here, it's just on the second deck. And then here, it's on the main screen. So whether or not I move it, it still moves. Whereas for these ones, if I have it on deck two, it will only be on deck two. Now I wanna talk about the scale here and the alignment. Um, so the scale, if I want to make it bigger, I just drag this knob up and make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Um, the opacity will make it either, right now it's at full opacity, so you'll see the full image. But if I turn this down, we'll see that it goes, it gets uh, dimmer and dimmer until it goes all the way, all the way away, I should say. <clears throat> and the alignment says shows where it is on the screen. So if I can move it to any one of these grids... And then it, wherever I want it to be. Uh, to get rid of this all, all off the screen, all I have to do is click whatever deck it's on. And now it's gone. Um, if you want to add your own image, you click this plus. 
right here. And then this will load your files. So I'm going to add my Timmy G image. And now I'm going to put it on the main deck. And I'll make it a little smaller. And once again, if I wanted to move it anywhere on the screen, I could. To get rid of this image, I just make sure that it's highlighted here. And then I hit this minus button, and then it's gone. Um, but it will still be on the screen until I get rid of it off the screen by clicking here. And now it's gone. And that's about it for the image overlay. And now we're going to look at the text overlay, how to add text onto your screen. This is very similar to image overlay. Um, but instead of having to have an image, you can um, add text. So you click right here for text overlay. And once again, it has Algorithm and DJ Pro already typed out for you. So same thing to assign it to either deck one, deck two, or the main screen. You just click on whatever one you want. And this is what it looks like. To get it off the screen, you do the same thing as image overlay and just click and then it will be gone. Uh, the difference here is you can edit the font and the size and the color of the text. So I'll put this, I'll put the DJ Pro one up back here. Um, so to change the font, you click here and then this little font box pops up. You can change whatever font, change the size. Um, I will say if you make it too big, then you won't be able to see all of the letters. So right now I made it huge. Oh, whoops, put it on the wrong deck. I made it huge and then we only see the dot dot dots because it doesn't finish. So make sure that you have the, if you're going to use text, make sure you have the right size that, that will have it fit. Here we go. To change the color, we click right here and we can pick any color on this color wheel. You can do um, grayscale, pick from all these colors, any of these color options, whatever one you prefer. Um, opacity is the same thing as image overlay and the alignment is the same thing as image overlay. And to get it off, once again, you click here. Uh, you can also add your own text like we did with the image overlay and you can type something in. So let's say it's someone's birthday. You want it to write happy birthday. Uh, let's say happy birthday, John. And then we can project this and right now it's too, uh, there's too much text so we can, we can make the size smaller until it fits. And there we go. We see it. And then to get rid of it, we can take it off the screen and hit this minus button and then it will be deleted from our history. Uh, and other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performance, or sound design tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.